Thank you very much. Oh, it's very heavy. <laughs> last day of quarantine end of the 10 days and um, early this morning I checked out of my quarantine hotel which y'all saw and they booked me a taxi and brought me to my new hotel here in Seoul and I like I think it's finally starting to hit me that I'm in Korea like I'm very excited um, I don't know what to expect, but we're we're here, we're here, and we're just gonna have to see what this time has in store for us. Um, from the entrance already, like I know y'all already know the vibes of this hotel, but I also wanna show you the room. Like this is the nicest hotel room I have ever stayed in, and I'll be here for the next couple weeks. So it just makes it like, okay, this feels like, they called it a sanctuary, like it feels like a sanctuary. Um, and then from there, I've just been thinking about like what I want to do for my first day out in Seoul and I think um, Since today is Sunday. I have like looked up a couple churches I'm gonna try to see if I can find my way to one of those um, I'm gonna make sure or I'm gonna try to get one of the transportation cards that you can use on the subways and the buses and then I'm just gonna I don't know walk around explore make sure i eat a lot of food because what i didn't show y'all is that in quarantine like the food they give you is you know three times a day and you eat it whether you like it or not and so if it's not good like you you just you go to bed hungry and you know i'm not even going to complain about that because that's in the past now and we're here and today i'm going to eat as much as i possibly can so <laughs> that's the current plan um I'm excited to see what this day has in store, but yeah, let me go ahead and show y'all the room. <laughs> okay, so upon entry, you put your room card in and um, immediately to your right, you have the, you know, full suite. And honestly, I'm not even a bath person, but best belief, I'm gonna become a bath person after this. <laughs> we got the bidet, we got the shower, just very luxurious. I am loving that. Um, we got a full length mirror here, which, hello. And then we got a closet, which um, has, you know, just standards. And then here we have a little corner nook, which I guess you can kind of just stand here in the morning and enjoy the view, I guess, with your cup of coffee. <laughs> nice city view. Then coming into the main portion of the room, we got the bar area and a mini fridge that they stocked, but I don't know if I'm gonna be drinking much of this stuff. And then we have the room, which just looks like it'll be a really good next couple of weeks. So I'm really excited and yeah forgot to show the little breakfast spread that they had set up. And honestly, it's just the icing on the cake. Loving it. So that was the room. And now I'm going to get ready and try to find my way to one of these churches.
being really honest with y'all, like <laughs> I barely walked out of the house for five minutes and it's already so hard. I have no idea how I'm going to survive out here, but we keep moving, we keep moving. Yes. Oh, the struggle to get this card loaded. Oh my gosh. Just make sure you have cash on you and you need to have cash to fill this up and this is what you'll use on the buses and the subway system. But now that I have this loaded, I'm finally ready to go and find my way to this church. Ways and I need to get to that bus stop over there. Now I am walking to see if I can find where this church is, but now at this point. I've missed the 11 a.m. service, so um, now I'm going to try to find something to eat first and then make it to the 2 p.m. service. So more details to come. So I heard people, two people talking on the street in English and I decided to be like, you know what, what is there to lose? So I reached out, I was like, hey, I hear y'all talking English. And they were like, yeah, do you want to come get lunch with us? And here we are. And it turns out Olympia went to my same school and they both just came from the church that I'm about to go to. It's crazy, small world. God is doing, you know, what he do, not coincidences, and yeah, really crazy. Just got back from my first full day out in Seoul and honestly like I knew that you know I knew that I was coming to a foreign country you know what I'm saying and I knew that it was necessary for me to learn you know the language that it would make it easier for me here but I don't think you fully realize how much that matters until you're in a subway station and there's just like no English words that you can understand. And you're literally just using lines and curves to help you navigate your way through these foreign like streets and this foreign city. And honestly, like it was adventurous, it was fun. Like I really enjoyed it. Um, but <laughs> there was definitely some moments where I was just like, oh, this is gonna be a hard couple of weeks. But honestly, like, God showed up as he always does today. And at the train station, I was literally like, I, like the T-Money card, I was supposed to be, I was supposed to make it to the 11 a.m. service at church. 
but the tea money situation took way longer and like thank god i met this lady at a subway station and she just like was waiting for her friends and then when i when i talked to her she was like oh i knew that there was a reason i came to the station earlier today and i was like god bless you like so she was so sweet and she like helped me through, you know, finding the right ATM because some ATMs don't take American credit cards and you have to go and withdraw money because you can't load a team money transport, transportation card with a, a credit card or a debit card. So she helped me find an ATM and took me back to the team money loading station and I was able to load the card up and then that's when I went to the bus stop, got on the wrong bus. And it's not like, oh, okay, you just get on the wrong bus, realize it, a stop, you know, down the street. Like, no, this was literally going over the freeway for a good 10 minutes before I was able to hop off and exchange. But it's all part of it. And honestly, like God's plan is just like God had his hand in the whole thing because like had I, you know, actually got on the right bus, then I would have made it to the 11 a.m. service and I wouldn't have had that, you know, accidental run in with Olympia and Q Joy. And the fact that I caught them right before they went into that restaurant and I was just like, like the Holy Spirit was just like, just go talk to them. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess we're starting on day one. And so I went to talk to them and they're like, yeah, come have lunch with us. And it turns out she went to my school. Like, it's just crazy. It's crazy. Like, we have mutuals on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's such a small world. But it was, like, encouraging. And then church service was just amazing. Amazing people there. Loved it. Um, and so I'm already really starting to like it. I'm really liking Seoul. And, um, yeah, I just got back to the hotel. And thinking I'm going to just relax for a little bit and then maybe go find some dinner and then ideally work starts tomorrow but we'll see I don't know so yeah we'll see what the rest of the evening has in store for us